Hello everyone, Natives here, and today we have something new. Yesterday we actually got a full length reveal trailer for Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront. And now on the page we can see, like, you know, the uh, website, we can see the single player aspect. I'm gonna show you the screenshot right now of that uh, page. You can check the link below to the website. And what do we know? Well, the first thing off that we see from the website is that we are a uh, woman named Aiden Fursio. She's a commander of Inferno Squad, so basically like an elite, uh, you know, Imperial Special Force unit from the website, um, which are, as stated here, equally lethal on the ground and in space. So from the trailer we saw that um, Basically, they're really strong. You see that Endor part. I'm gonna show you right now um, And you know you see that they're really really strong actually and they're really an elite force And then there happens to be the explosion of Death Star 2, which means that Emperor is dead Okay, so now for the plot reveal that I wanted to talk about Well, we know that the single player actually takes part within the 30 years between the a Return of the Jedi, uh, uh, episode 6, and the last one, uh, Force Awakens, the episode 7, that's 30 years between, and this single player is gonna be between those two episodes, so like a filler. For sure we know that we're gonna be playing at least a couple missions, or a mission, with uh, Luke Skywalker, which means that we can possibly uh, play with other characters in the single player, but mostly this is about this character. So basically we have seen from the trailer where she speaks that she was waiting 30 years for this. And what does it mean? Well, after the uh, you know the destruction of the first Death Star, she is witnessing the uh, you know the first order creating the Star Killer base and launching assaults probably and trying to fight against the rebels again. Cool thing is about this single player is that we see it from the point of view of a, uh, you know, an Imperial. And she is from a homeworld which is under Imperial control and is pretty much an Imperial city, which they talked about uh, during the celebration. So we can assume that she is gonna be one of the people that is gonna create First Order, um, or at least be part of it for the beginning, since, you know, it pretty much points it out to be, since it's taking place right after the, uh, the episode 6 and before episode 7, we don't really see her in episode 7, so my guess is it's pretty much just, the, uh, you know, that part, and she's witnessing the, uh, you know, the building of First Order, and it's cool because it's from a different perspective than usual, usually we see rebels, and this time we see a perspective of someone from the Imperials, and you see that for them, uh, actually the rebels are the terrorists kind of people, so, you know, we see it like a different point of view, and we have different point of uh, view because of that, we have also a different uh, thing that they, you know, how they see the world. For rebels, they're fighting for freedom, but for Imperials, it could be that they're fighting for, you know, order and they see rebels as pretty much terrorists. From what we see she is really loyal to the Emperor and from the trailer we saw that she even said avenge our Emperor. Uh, so that shows how much like she is an imperialist. But there's one more thing that I noticed on the page. The story of revenge, betrayal and redemption. Well revenge is gonna be for Emperor. That's what we can assume. Betrayal. What is the betrayal? Is one of their squad uh, members. I, from what I see, there's three of them in total with her. So is it one of them actually, you know, betraying or someone else? And then there is redemption, which seems it could be that she's going into, uh, gonna turn into a rebel like at the end. That's where the betrayal and redemption is, or maybe something else. We see right away that the uh, Inferno Squad is her, with two of her soldiers, and a bot that is gonna be with you at all times. Kind of like a ghost in Destiny. One more thing that you see on the uh, trailer is actually the Battle of uh, Jakku that we had in uh, Battlefront 1. And we know that it takes place right after Episode 6, where the uh, rebels are really trying to kill off the remaining Imperials 
trying to destroy everything they have, and it's a really successful actually assault. And from the trailer, we know that she is part of it since we saw that single pair aspect of the battle. So, for now, I think that is all that we know really about this single player. We know that it's gonna be spamming the 30 years, she's gonna be part of it, and she's gonna be witnessing the destruction of the Imperial and the formation of uh, First Order, Circular Base probably, Kylo Ren, and all those characters, Snoke, and all everyone else. We don't know if we're gonna see Snoke, but that's just speculation. And as you can see, she's really an Imperialist and it's a different point of view, so it's gonna be cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, comment down below what do you guys think about this single player and I will see you later. See you.